How's it going guys? Mad Glasses here. We're back with some more Atlas. Uh, in this video, this will be a quick tutorial on how to use the Saxtent, or Sextant, the little device I have in my hand. Now this is used for navigation. All you need to do is equip it, whatever slot you want or just equip it from your inventory or whatever. Then you hold in the right click like this. You do this little animation or whatever. And all you need to do is look for stars. You see how it's has like a, a green box around it and you know it's doing all the little twirling stuff or whatever. All you do is look at it, hit right click. And then the little thing kind of shoots off from it. All you need to do is follow it to the next one. And you just keep going. It's pretty simple. All you need to do is locate four of them. You just follow it to the next one. Sometimes uh, it's a little, it may be like obscured or whatever. Sometimes you can still find the other star even though it's behind something. But it is more, it, it's kind of difficult at least to see where the next star is going to be. And boom, that's it. That's all you do. And as you can see now, I have a little mini map in the upper left corner. And at the very, very top, I have navigation now. Now I know where my north's out. I don't have to pull up my map or anything like that. Pretty much, this is all it really shows. Uh, it just helps with navigation. At the very bottom, you can see there is like a uh, timer. Uh, right now, it's only 30 seconds. or I think it starts off at 40 or something like that. But it's very short. I think it's 60, yeah. 60 seconds is, is pretty short but there is a trick to this that I have recently learned so alright as soon as the timer goes out I'll show you guys a cool little trick hopefully this will uh, help you guys out too as soon as the timer goes out three more seconds okay alright now the buff is gone alright now all you need to do is do the same thing except do not stop at four you keep going so boom there's a next is that star see this one's behind it you can still oh it's actually obstructed now that might have been uh they might have updated that so i gotta restart that's fine it used to actually let you still pick up on the star even if something was in your way all right let's find the next one Okay. Now, where are you at? Where are you at? Sometimes it's a little difficult to find. There it is. All right, now you just keep going. Don't stop at four. You can. I can. I've gotten up to like eight. Boom. Keep going. Do as many as you can possibly. Just keep going until it forces you out. Uh, where is it at? There it is. See, I'm up to 7 out of 4 now. 8 out of 4. Oh, there we go. See, now look at my timer down below. Now it's like 700-something seconds. I don't know how many minutes that is, but if you do the math, you can figure it out. But, yeah, you, as you can see, the more stars you do, the longer the timer is. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, I just want to show you guys this little cool little little device I and mean, it's mostly just used for navigation you know for the map and stuff like that that's pretty much all all there is to it you just do your little four stars and then you just keep going to add more and more time to it i'm not sure exactly how much time is added per star but you know just keep on going as good as many as you can and it lasts for a good little while so yeah that's pretty much it guys uh hopefully this tutorial helps you guys out navigating because you know, I'm, I'm pretty directional challenged, so hopefully this helps you guys out too. Thanks for watching. Peace. Hey guys, I forgot a little small, um, also a little quick tip. If you're using the Saxon or Saxon or whatever it's called in, in the daytime, it can be very, very difficult to actually see the stars. So what you do is you just do the gamma, the gamma thing and do 1.5. 
and it will make your screen a whole lot darker. You see it got a little bit darker, but this is good for when you're trying to use it at daytime. Then once you're done, just switch back over to you know, your normal uh, gamma, however you want to use it. Uh, but yeah, so if you're using it at daytime, lower the gamma so it's much darker. That way you can actually look and find the stars a lot more easier. All right, guys. Thanks again.